ones. But we'll get through them, them all, so just, uh, just be patient. Let's uh, skip down and look at some of the other effects. I brought over an instance of Subtractor with a nice electric piano sound. Sounds like this. Kind of nice, but it could use a little bit of thickening up. So what I'll do is just bring over the tool window here and underneath the effects, let's bring over the CF101 chorus flanger. Now, from what we've learned right up until now, you would think you would drag this up underneath the, um, uh, the mixer, so between the mixer and the subtractor. And we've done that before, and what that will do is place it in an effect send and return an effects loop with the mixer. And we actually don't want to do that in this situation. Let's do it a little bit differently by dragging it directly beneath the thing that we want to affect. If I was to hit the tab key, we'll go around the back, and here's what has happened. The output of our subtractor used to just go straight up to the mixer, but because we drag this below the subtractor, then Reason does some automatic routing and places the output of this guy into the CF101, the chorus flanger, and then the output of that up here, we've kind of daisy chained it up into here. So the entire signal goes through here and then up into channel one. We do that because we'll get a little bit of a fatter sound if we place this in line rather than using it on an effects send and return like in an effects loop. So from here, if I bypass this, there's the original sound. If I turn it on, it sounds a little nicer. If I could up the rate a little bit. Mm, that's sounding a little nicer. So a chorus will give you a little bit of a richer sound. And if you mess around with the delay here and also the feedback, you can actually uh, turn this into a flanger. If you do a shorter delay and longer feedback, it'll turn from really a chorus into a flanger.